Hello, my name is Bob Brown. I'm the Director of Nursing in the Western Trust. And I'm really pleased to give my full support to the 10,000 More Voices initiative. I'm standing today with Lisa and with Carmel, who are two of our fantastic volunteers in the Trust. And the story I'd just like to briefly share with you relates to volunteering. And in fact, in the eye clinic, uh, we were pleased to receive a story from a service user who told us that as a result of their visual impairment, they were unable to uh, access the self-referral uh, check-in stand and also had some difficulties um, due to the fact that the front reception didn't have anybody at the time of the day whenever they attended. So we listened to their story uh, and we now have volunteers to support people who come um, for that service and also have ensured that we have somebody at reception. So 10,000 more voices is really important and we give our full support to the initiative and for learning as much as we can from people's experience right across the Trust. Hello, my name is Leanne Hughes, I'm the sister of the Middle Free Lead Unit. As a result of patient feedback, our unit has responded by providing pills for women to labour and birth in. This small change has made a massive difference to approximately 70 women who last year achieved a normal delivery via water birth. Hello, my name is Kathleen Porter. Um, I've been a staff midwife in labour work for the past 17 years and over that time I have seen numerous changes to the services. Just recently um, women have requested that they can labour in the pool but this is a high risk environment in which um, women need to be monitored. So our manager has got funding for two new wireless monitors that enables women um, to uh, labour in the pool and um, use that as a form of pain relief and if circumstances permit they also can deliver in the pool. Hello my name is Kieran McLaughlin, I'm a staff nurse in Ward 42, Acute Care of the Elderly. We have made a lot of improvement around falls and the risk of falls um, we're trying to reduce that especially among the elderly. Um, we've introduced purple folders, red trays, meal prep, we all, we're all involved, we work as a team We'd like to introduce ourselves. Communication's a big thing um, among us here. Hello, my name is Mary McGrellis. I'm the ward manager for cardiology. Um, we have received some feedback from the 10,000 voices and it's been very important for the service development. We have quite a number of new services in cardiology over the last couple of years, in particular um, inpatient an outpatient pacemaker service that pre previously was sent to Belfast for, primary PCA and nurse-led cardio version, um, as well as that then uh, having general patients on the ward. And the feedback we have received has been very positive and it has influenced how we have changed our practice, in particular for the AAF for the nurse-led DC cardio version service. This was a service previously undertaken by medical staff on the day patients could have been cancelled due to their INR has been sub-therapeutic or their medication not been taken and it wasn't safe to proceed. With the nurse-led service we intercept that prior to them coming to the ward um, so if need be we can cancel the appointment if, if they're not safe to progress. Um, the waiting time has been reduced because we can process two patients now in a day as opposed to one. They're a shorter length of stay because they're, we're given a reduced dose of sedation and that's in line with the conscious sedation policy. Um, so overall from that point of view there's been very positive feedback from patients. We've also received feedback from general patients in the ward that are admitted um, either a haven't had a heart attack or with heart failure um, and what they found positive was we're providing an environment that is warm, caring, where they feel they're safe um, with staff that are friendly, that they're approachable um, and that we're treating patients with respect and dignity and delivering care to them that we would look or expect our own family to receive if they were in hospital. Um, so this has very much impacted on how, what our motto is for our ward, that we want a warm, friendly, approachable staff um, and it makes the patient feel relaxed and at ease and we're delivering safe effective care as a result. Hello, my name is Ray King, I'm a midwife in the postnatal ward in Alton Miguel from Ward 46. The recent changes that have been made in the postnatal ward is regarding visitors for fathers. Fathers can now come from 10 in the morning till 10 at night. The other visiting times is 3 to 4 and 7 to half 8. 
out of those hours it can be flexible for some time depending on mom's requirements. There's also facilities for the dad to stay over with his wife, um, especially if they're little babies in the neonatal intensive care unit or if just mum needs some extra support overnight, the dads can stay. Hello, my name is Kerry Guy. I'm a Deputy Ward Sister in Ward 44 Cardiology. Within the Cardiology Department we run elective lists Monday to Friday uh, for the angiograms and it was identified that emergencies happen and PCIs may be needed, therefore cancellations can take place. There, for example, on Friday we had uh, three primary PCIs come in, which led to two patients being cancelled off the list. And what happens then is it's rescheduled, and the coordinator does uh, her best to reschedule within a week or two weeks. For instance, a man was rescheduled there Friday and he's back in today. I can understand from this it can be quite disrupting for the patient. Um, obviously, the patient. Uh, maybe need a spouse to come in to transport them and maybe need to take a day off work for example and they try and reschedule that as soon as they can. So then it was identified that we were on an extra list on Wednesday um, to cut down waiting lists and this has taken place since November of last year and we've actually done a total of 31 patients since November um, which also enhances patients care. Hello, my name is Deirdre McCafferty. I am a midwife here in Ward 45 and we've recently developed the Lavender Suite for parents who have unfortunately lost their baby. Uh, the Trust is very generous help from SANS to fund this suite and in fact we're delighted to say we're the first of its kind in Northern Ireland to be funded by SANS for parents that can use during the time of delivery of their baby and the days following it. For deaf sign language users, what matters to us is an accessible appointment booking system that enables deaf people to book using email rather than the telephone booking app. Some deaf people reported that they have received incorrect prescriptions and incorrect care. So what matters to us is that hospital staff take time to empathise and understand our language culture and the deaf experience. What matters to us is that interpreters are not only booked for deaf patients but also when the patient's family member is deaf and they need access to information about their family member's care. We are continuing to work together with 10,000 more voices to improve the service and experience of the deaf community. Hello, my name is Aileen Donnelly. I work in the rehabilitation ward in the new Beaumont Hospital and Primary Care Complex. Um, what I've taken from the 10,000 voices is to listen to patients more and provide a better quality of care. Hello, my name is Joanne McCullough. I'm the Outpatients Manager here at the new Beaumont Hospital Complex here in the in June of 2017 we moved to this new complex um, where we had state-of-the-art facilities for our outpatient clinics. One of the prime examples which we had in regards to patient management was the patient expressed while we were in our older hospital was that the call system to which we used um, to allow patients to be called for their appointments um, was not very uh, good or wasn't necessarily uh, very um, worthwhile in, in how they were being called. They were There was a lot of um, patients who had very difficult names who we were unable to call correctly and they found that, that uh, it was very unfair that they were that their rights was being infringed on. As part of the new hospital brief um, we worked tirelessly um, um, on this respect and brought in a system called the Savion system which is a self check-in call-in system for patients. This means that patients can check in um, as they enter the main building and it is a numerical uh, process. The patients arrive at the outpatients department and they will have a seat of where they are then called numerically to the consultation room to the clinic with which they're identified for. This has been quite a, a worthwhile and very successful process but what it actually does is it takes away the problems in relation to the um, aspects of patients unable to maybe to literacy problems, maybe um, issues to do with their culture or their ethnicity or wherever we're, where we were unable to actually give them the correct terminology or the name for that particular patient. Patients have been very positive in this response and it has been a real a success for us. Yes, we do have some teething problems, but yes, this has been exceptionally worthwhile for patients. Hello, my name is Hazel and I work in the Staff of a patient that is dying or has 
has died on the board. The symbol allows staff to have the opportunity to be respectful, to be appropriate in their behaviour and sensitive in their communication towards all relatives. Hello, my name is Julie Collins and I work in the Emergency Department in South West Acute Hospital. As part of feedback from 10,000 Voices, we have aimed to improve communication to patients and relatives throughout their patient journey in the emergency department. Hello, my name is Sinead Collins and I work in the emergency department here in SWA. According to the 10,000 Voices feedback that we had, um, patients were missing out on hot meals. So they said that they wanted it, hot meals introduced to the department and we have since got that introduced. So we have now hot meals at lunchtime and at the evening meals which is brilliant. Patients are very happy now that they're being fed accordingly and it makes for happier patients. Hello, my name is Anne Kinney. I'm the Deputy Assistant in Ward 6. From the 10,000 Boys programme, we have found that um, patients and relatives uh, like the idea of more flexible visiting times and we've introduced that into the board. Um, we find this very beneficial um, for our staff, patients and relatives and we're presently introducing or have introduced Dementia friendly um, board and this flexibility with visiting adds greatly to this as well. Hello, my name is Tom Keyes and I'm almost in Ward 6. She's uh, 87 years of age and uh, she's been looked after by the staff in Ward 6. I'd just like to say that the level of care that has been afforded to my mum has been second to none. The girls here are right from the cleaning ladies, the nursing staff. And uh, we don't know what we do with them. And really and truly, nobody really understands what they do until we're they're in the situation that we are. And they don't give enough thanks as far as I'm concerned. Hello, my name is Caroline Conte. I'm a deputy sister in Stroke King at Ward 5 in South West Kate Hospital. Um, from patient feedback uh, from the 10,000 voices, we have chosen to, to concentrate on communication to an overall enhance um, the patient's experience, by, which means like, that um, our ward manager has chosen to uh, promote more effective communication with the staff in order to enhance the patient's experience through our more elaborate safety brief, through um, just signage, letting people know, letting relatives know who's on in charge both day and night. And then any uh, safety lessons or feedback from our career is um, communicated to the staff via uh, notice board at our main station. I'm Eva Wright. I'm, I'm here in the hospital, which I have received very excellent care. And the staff are very good and kind. The staff were more than good to me, very caring and attentive. They communicate very well and very good at their job. And every one of them was just excellent to me. They cared from me from coming and that's nearly two months ago. And they have been very kind, very good, and just go out of their way to help you.